So how would you like an inexpensive director's monitor that doesn't cost that much relatively, but is definitely functional? Let's get into it. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about director's monitors. And one of the reasons why this is extremely beneficial is you notice there's no wires, no HDMI, no power, none of that good stuff. So instead of everybody gathering around your camera or your monitor attached to your camera, you can have it away from your shoot and everybody can watch it on a stand while sitting down or video village or whatever the case may be. And what's also good about these is people can either watch them from an iPhone. This is an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Yeah, I had to think about that one for a second. Or... They can also watch them from an iPad. And this is just a regular old iPad. You know, it doesn't matter which one. It all works the same. So for this particular setup, you can have three external devices. You know, this one is hooked to the receiver. And then I have two Apple devices, but you can also use Android to watch what's going on or to watch the shoot or watch the framing, whatever the case may be. And you get audio over it so you can even hear what's going on. Now, right now I have all the audio turned off because they're so close together, you'd hear a high pitched squeal. and We don't want that to happen. So let's take a little bit closer look at this setup and uh, see if it'll help you or see if it'll give you some ideas. So uh, stand by and let's move over. All right, everybody. So here we are taking a look at the Field World LUT 7S Pro. And the main reason why I got this is because of the SDI port. Because the HDI ports are on the bottom of this one. And if it's on a stand, I didn't feel secure with the HDMI upside down because, you know, I just don't want it to pull out. So on, on this side, you can see we have a NATO rail from small rig and a small rig wooden handle. And we have the same on this, this side as well. A NATO rail and a small rig wooden handle as well. So these were leftovers from my EOS R. Hey, why not repurpose them? So let me go ahead and show you the back. Okay, here we are on the back. And right here, we have the shin bull. 600s and you can see here is where it hooks to the sdi out and the sdi in so just a short little six inch cable so it doesn't get in the way nice and neat and over here we have a fotega npf to v mount adapter because mpf batteries just don't last that long and micro or mini v mounts last a pretty good time so that's the back. You can see this is pretty simple and you can definitely build this up and break it down fairly quickly with two screws in each NATO rail. This just slides off a quick connect and this just slides off on a quick connect. And the one reason I use the Field World LUT 7S Pro is because it's got an NPF adapter male on the bottom. So I can just hook a NPF female on top and have plenty of power for a long time. So that's a close up look of my director's monitor. So let's go ahead and get out of this. All right, everybody. So what do you think of this very simple setup? Like I said, this is relatively inexpensive. It definitely will work for framing. Now, will it work for focus pulling? Uh, probably not because it's just the latency is too much. But for framing and just checking your shot or checking your audio, you know, it's, it's fine and it works great. And especially at this price point, it's definitely fine because this can run 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 and up, which is ridiculous, especially for somebody having just like a YouTube channel or a small setup like I do. But when I'm far away from my camera, I definitely want to be able to frame my shot without straining to see a five or seven inch monitor. I can just move the stand just out of frame and I can frame everything perfectly. I can even listen to my audio. 
or I can use one of my Apple devices. So just a great all around setup in my opinion. And by the way, I turned it around so you can see the V-mount battery. It's just a mini or micro V-mount, which will last for hours. And what's great about this setup is the V-mount not only powers the wireless device, it also powers the monitor. That's another benefit of the FieldWorld LUT 7S Pro that the power runs all the way through. So one power input powers everything. That was the other thing I forgot to mention while we were taking a closer look. So let me go ahead and spin this back around. All right, that's spun back around. You can have one final look at my director monitor setup. Let me know what you think. Good, bad, and different. I just love this little setup. It works for me. I can frame everything. Now, the only downside is this is 1080i or 1080p. It's not 4K, but for just framing and checking your shot and audio, it's fine. You know, if I want to move up, I'll I'll get like a Teradex Spark or something so I can output 4K and check it. But still, your monitors are still just 1920 by 1080, so kind of a waste in my opinion. So let me know what you think in the description. You know, give me a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching and for listening. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day or night, everybody. Happy shooting. Thank you.